Hi guys, trust you're all doing well. Um, today we are going to be continuing with the LinkedIn profile update. This is part two of the series that we've uploaded. Um, if you have missed our part one, please be sure to go back and just ha have a look at the video as it's very helpful and it just shows you uh, the basic information that you need to get started with LinkedIn. Today we're going to be showing you more or less on how to um, uh, look for a position on LinkedIn or um, how to find out whether there are positions out there available for you um, and the easiest way in which to do so. Um, if you have a look at this, is, will be your if you log into LinkedIn, this will be your home page, your home feed, your the screen where all your, your, your most recent information will come up. Okay, um, on here, um, if you have a look at the top of your toolbar, um, you will notice that you have the various options, your network, jobs, messaging, notifications, etc. Okay, what we've come to realize as recruiters is that the easiest way to look for a position on LinkedIn is by actually, okay, you've got your normal search criteria where you can go into jobs. If you click on jobs, um, you'll get the, the information that you're looking for. Um, if you scroll down, it usually filters into the positions. It picks up on the type of position you're in at the moment and will bring up the best job suitable for your type of criteria. However, if there are no positions that reflect um, on the page when you go into it, then you can just type the job that you are looking for. Okay, whether it be an accountant, you can just type in the accountant. Um, location, uh, depends on the location that you're looking. And you can just type in your location as well, and you can press your search. And it will bring you all the positions that are available within that uh, particular region or area that you're looking for. It will also give you an, a, a, where you can apply. In some cases, if you click on the apply, it might take you to the company's website. If not, um, you might have to then either you can visit the company's website. In this case, it's taking you to the company's website where you can apply directly on the website. Okay, in other cases, it might make you fill out an online application form that you'll have to complete online. Okay, if you scroll down, you see the various positions that are available in Cape Town uh, matching your criteria. Okay, um, the other option that you have available for searching for positions on LinkedIn, okay, is um, well, it's not actually where you search for the actual job itself, but where you can connect with recruiters within your specific industry um, that you, or field that you're looking for employment within that okay. So we'll go out of this. This is the job section. That's quite self-explanatory and quite easy to use. In this case now, the next option that you have available is if you're looking for a, a specific um, person within an industry or recruits within an industry that can assist you. Okay. So in this case, we're going to put, we'll just type in here, um, recruiter, wait, an account, accounting recruiter, or you can put in financial recruiter. Perhaps that will give it a financial recruiter. Okay, so the, this is the drop down that will come as you type in financial recruiter. You're not going to, you can, you can either search in jobs again, as I said, it will bring up all the jobs within that specific area. Like if we click on financial recruiter, all the jobs, this is almost the exact same as going to search on jobs directly. All the positions will come up again, and you can also apply directly through that channel. Um, the next option, as I said, um, we're going to go out of here again. I just want to type in financial recruiter again. You'll pick up the pe people within that, uh, of people with that specific job title. Okay, so if you have a look here, then you'll notice, okay, you have a Mervyn Petzer, recruiter, financial, etc. So if you go down, you'll pick up all the recruiters within that field. You can also uh, minimize your search by uh, breaking your location down. So in this case, you'll put Johannesburg, and then um, that will be the location, and you apply. So you do have a lot of filters that you can utilize to break down the people that you're actually searching for. Um, if you have a look, then all your, all your recruiters within that region will come up again. Okay. What you can do is then connect to those recruiters. If you click on the connect button 
and a LinkedIn. If, if you have a look here, then you can either add a note to that specific recruiter stating exactly that you're looking for a specific position within financial. If they then, they will then read your note and they will accept your invitation. If they do have a position available for you within your field or with your experience and expertise, then they will accept your invitation. In some cases, a recruiter might not accept your invite if they do not have anything that can help you or any position available. But in most cases, they do accept all the invites. Um, if you do not put in a note, then the, um, you don't stand a bit, you stand a better chance of, of being accepted by a recruiter if you add in a personalized note. So I would suggest that you perhaps just add in a short note stating why you would like to connect with them. So, uh, since that they might not know you on a personal level, so you can just state on there the reason for uh, your your request to, to connect with them. Okay, um, in that this is a very good tool to use, as once the the recruiter has accepted your invite to connect, you can then liaise with them via your messaging tool. If you have a look on your right hand corner at the bottom, stating messaging. If you click on here, you'll see all your messages that come through. Okay. What happens is once you've connected with any of these recruiters, they will then form part of your network. And from your network, you can then, they'll be part of your connection list. From your connections, you can then liaise with them on messaging. Okay, you can just message them as you have a look. You can see there's um, the message. From the connect box, it turns into um, where they are part of your connection or part of uh, your your network and then you can message them directly and speak to them per, on a more personal level. In some cases you can also send them your CV, you can ask them various questions about the industry um, and from there it, it will show you uh, different ways of how to apply for positions etc. You can do it on a personal level through a company etc. Okay, um, the other option that you also have um, in most cases um, works out uh, perfectly for, for a lot of, of, of candidates as um, if you the main what, what we've come to realize is that if you know of a specific organization or company that you'd like to apply to rather go onto their website directly and apply through the organization directly because in most cases every company does have a jobs or a careers page on their website where you can apply directly through them without having to go through LinkedIn or Gumtree or Pnet or Indeed, etc. Okay. Um, guys, I do hope that this video was helpful. This is part two of our series. We will be bringing up more tips, health and tips for you on LinkedIn. Um, so please subscribe to our channel. Um, the link can be found on, on the right hand corner of the screen. Um, I urge you guys to please subscribe because there will be more helpful information coming up shortly. Um, we are trying our best to help all candidates and clients find employment and um, we, we feel that this video will help you uh, take that next step. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your good day. Bye-bye.